Hello and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep Final Mix, where today we are going to the Enchanted Dominion. So let's go ahead and visit. Still no sign of terror. Hmm. Huh. I do like how we've been doing one world per episode. Feels nice. Yep, seems that this is indeed a Sleeping Beauty world. Stop! You'll get away from her! What? Oh, I'm sorry. It's just, I've never seen anyone so beautiful. Who are you? I'm Ventus, but you can call me Ven. Oh, you don't seem bad, dear. I'm certain you have a pure heart, just like our precious Aurora. Can you tell me why she's sleeping? Long ago, Maleficent cursed her. Now she's stolen her heart. Hmm. Well then, why don't I go get it back for her? That's impossible, dear. Maleficent's home is at the Forbidden Mountain. It's not safe. I'm not afraid. We, we can't just leave Aurora like this. I can help. You gotta believe me. Come on. Let's go get her heart. You know, you're absolutely right. The Forbidden Mountain is through the forest. Come along. Follow us. No one's gonna stay. we wouldn't want you to get lost. No one's gonna stay here to guard her? Also, if her heart's been stolen, does that mean that that's a nobody? And that there's a heartless? Somewhere? Or, but wait, no, because she's a princess of heart, so she can't make a heartless. So... What even? Dang it, wrong button. What you got? Eh, thunder. And magnet and slow and stop. And other things, too. Well, we don't have enough to really justify a purchase right now. And we can't go through there, and there's nothing hiding through here. Can we... Okay, so we can go through there, or through here. Uh, this is the way they didn't go, right? Alright, so nothing there. Chest here, though. All right, we've learned sleep. Feels weird just getting spells for opening chests. I honestly feel like I kind of prefer when it's progression gated, because then at least you know when you're going to have access to certain spells and whatnot. I should de-link people who aren't Aqua once in a while. Because I feel like, since we like leveled up our Aqua de-link on our first combat using it, maybe that's just what happens. You use a de-link once and it levels up, and then you use it like a billion more times and it levels up again? Oh, that. That bar went down fast. Oh, that bar was our uh, command bar thing. Yep, and now we can level up this D-Link. So, overdrive up? I, I guess that's for when we get into our overdrive mode. Maybe it's stronger. Okay, so the problem with delinking to Terra is we lose access to Cure. I like having access to Cure. I really like having access to Cure. In fact, I like it so much I'm going to use it right now and thus deny myself access to Cure. I need a map. Oh, there's a piece up there. 
but it's way too high to jump for. Are there any giant yarn balls around? I don't see any. This sure is a big empty chamber, though. are going to spawn. I want to get to the point where I can beat these enemies with a single combo. Or at least some of them. The big guys, I imagine that'll probably never end up happening if they keep leveling up kind of alongside us. But hey, maybe these little guys I'll be able to kill in a single combo. I mean, I guess I can if I get crits. So here we got some thrones. Here we got a chest. Yep, definitely can't jump high enough for that. Are we gonna learn high jump at some point? I guess don't drift. Gotta make sure we pick up the money. Because money is a... Someday, I'll stop instinctively pressing triangle. Someday. Today is clearly not that day. Okay, we're, we're just smacking jumbo almonds out of this thing, huh? I wonder what jumbo almonds are good for. You sure did get a bunch of them. An ingredient for something. Well, let's head on out this door. Alright. Got us a nice straight bridge. There's probably not going to be anything hiding here. Okay, that didn't do anything to either of them. Come here, buddy. Yeah, it doesn't look like we'll be able to hop over the sides of the bridge anywhere, so just head down the straight path. Okay, so Sleepy doesn't just summon anyone, it's just like, hey, everything falls asleep. Whoa, I, I died? Was my health really that low? I, I don't feel like my health was that low. Like, I don't recall having heard any low health noises. I just got dead.
Alright. We're doing fine. So I'm pretty sure this next set of enemies is the one that I died on. So let's go ahead and cure right now. We'll queue up. Oh, hello. Goodbye. Oh, we can just get fire and stuff like that from enemies? Alright. So it seems Grumpy steals from people. Okay, Doc heals. I'm not really surprised. Oh. Oh, it, it changes. Alright. Nice that those big guys are so susceptible to sleep. I don't know what gauge boost is or does. Oh, hey. Save point. And a big chest that I bet is a map. Okay, let's go ahead and make use of this save point just in case. Because I don't know what we're going to encounter after it, but the fact that it's here has to mean something. But then again, this was originally a portable game, and portable games like to have frequent save points because that way you can put them down more easily. It helps them do the whole portable thing. So yeah, who knows? This area seems big. I hope I don't have to lead anyone through it. Nice finisher there, Ventus. You almost hit something. Some arrow. Killed the big guy with it. Our abilities do level up real quick. They definitely want us to be actually using them to make new stuff. But I don't know what I can make with what. I don't want to just get rid of a useful ability to turn it into something that I'm not going to like. I'm going to have to, like, look up a list of what can be made. So let's look at our command deck. Yeah, we've got almost everything at level 3. So let's replace some things, like... Stun Edge, you can become... Eh, sleep seems useful. And Zero Gravity can become... Yeah, sure, Poison. And Arrow can become... Confused, why not? We're just a full caster now. And we want Cure to be our shortcut, because that seems smart. Oh, sleep is useful. So uh, they'll attack each other, but apparently not too frequently. 
seems Confuse is mostly just good for keeping them from attacking us for a little bit. Hello, chest. How are you today? I still miss Tap Tap, by the way. I feel like Kingdom Hearts 1 had the best chest opening animation of all the games so far. Poison doesn't really seem super significant. But I suppose having it's better than not having it. Because, yeah, it does seem like it might do more damage than, say, fire. It just doesn't do it all at once, but it does do it to multiple enemies. Looks like we're stuck. This must be Maleficent's doing. I know. Oh, yeah, just make a hole in it. Or, I guess, get rid of it completely. Chest. And no chest over here. No chest hidden behind that. So, just another straight path, huh? When are we going to find unversed? Nowhere? No unversed on this whole path? Seems bizarre for how dreary this place is. Oh, there's some guys. Ow. Looks like they might not be able to be both sleep, uh, asleep and poisoned at the same time. That's a little disappointing. Can't just poison them and let that do its work while they sleep it off. Okay, I got more of them over here. Ooh, they're archers. And how about you, huh? Dodge roll level three. What does that get us that's special? More iframes, maybe, or... Because it doesn't seem to be longer distance. Might be faster. And is there anywhere over here we can climb up? Doesn't look like it. Seems like a job for high jumping and or gliding. Oh, you waste of my sleep. You waste my confuse. You waste my poison. Oh, hey, I confused this one too. Have I been sleeping on, like, really good spells for this entire series? But then again, I don't recall there having been a sleep spell in the other games. Nor a confused spell. Nor a poison spell, even. But I can say this game has really good spells that are very useful. That's another ledge we can't get up to, so I guess we'll just go in here. I need more health. Careful, they are maleficent. Already, well, they ain't guarding nothing. already been fighting plenty. Tension. No sleeping on the job. Oh, 
Okay. Is it just the two of them? Nah, there's more coming. Oh, where'd that arrow come from? Ah, more from behind, huh? Ow. I wonder how many I'm going to have to kill. And yes, I do see that chest over there. Seems I can reflect arrows if I hit them at the right time. Which is to say, if I hit them. Really? I only slept two of them? Oh. Would have been great to poison or confuse the lot of those. Okay, we've gained magic. I'd rather be gaining more HP. Like, more, more HP. For now, at least. And hey, now our spells are all level 3. They level up fast. And that was not the most difficult fight we've ever had. I wonder, did, are XP gains increased in proud mode? Because if so, that might actually mean that proud is easier than standard. That's quite the throne. Can't sit in it, though. All right, so this is where we came in. Well, open that. And then I guess we just go through here. All right, so we've got a chest, some magical swirlies of varying colors. Okay. Walls that just show up out of nowhere. So it's a maze, is it? Oh, and there's a chest over there. Uh, looks like we gotta go through the maze at least a little bit to get to it. So what's this? Oh, these are teleporters and they take us to the other one of the same color. So before I take this one... Oh, hello again, guys. So let's take a step back. That chest, both of those chests, if we're to get to them via portals, it would have to be the green one by the look of it. Also, let's edit our command deck since everything's level three. No sense not leveling things up. Wait, poison can go above level three? Nifty. Um... Let's get Thunder in here. Let's get another Cure leveling up, I guess. And then... I guess... Fire? Yeah, fire. So... What can we do with melding? Okay, can't meld... Well, can meld Cure and Arrow? To make Cura? What happened to the Arrow? And here I was hoping we could, like, get an attack that would also cure us. Yeah, I don't want to get rid of Arrow so soon. Uh, sliding Dash can mix with other things. 
can make strike raid with sliding dash and quick blitz? Why not just get a strike raid right out from the shop? This makes something new. Confusion strike. Poison edge. Oh, let's see what new thing we can make him. What does this do? Oh, it attaches abilities. I like reduced reload time. Um, longer combos. Ooh, max HP boost. I like the soothing crystal. Staying alive is a thing I enjoy. Item boost, payback raid. So it's payback raid, but it makes it so that our potions heal for more, I'm guessing? Can we... No, we can't equip two different payback raids. Well, let's wait until this one maxes out, I guess. Yeah. Oh, right. Uh, or no, we got stuff all set up. We're good. So if we go this way, that's a dead end. So we have to take the blue portal. There's no avoiding the blue portal. So now... Gotta kill some piggy wigs. Okay, can't get to the green portal from here. At least not the other one. Okay, so we have to take the orange portal. For a maze, this is awfully linear. Okay, so we just can't even get to the chests because the walls stop us. You can't open the chest from the wrong side either. So yeah, it's... The chests are just red herrings, I guess. Because this is a singular path that we cannot deviate from. So something's going to happen at some point. I do see that there's another entrance in here, so maybe once we take that, we'll be able to to slide on in and grab the chests. Hello, piggy wigs. A jerk. So where are we now? So, yeah, we can go this way and get to a different place, or we can go this way and get to a different place. So, oh, there's nothing down this way, huh? Why do I not believe that to be true? Could it maybe be the fact that you've drawn a door on the map? Can I get back up? No, I cannot. Uh, 
All right, so now we're in another part of this room. Can I get back on the original path? Because if not, then I've been screwed out of some chests until, like, our next visit by that one little guy just poking me off the edge. I'm pretty sure he did it from off camera. Or at least that's what it feels like. But I'm clearly not reviewing the footage right now, so I can't tell you for sure. And it looks like, once again, we have exactly one choice. And it's to take this portal. Oh, so it changes color, so... Could we have taken it at a different time to get taken elsewhere? Poison really does not seem that effective. Firestorm seems good. This seems potentially bossy. So now we have to fight Maleficent, yeah? Don't you remember? We've met before. We... we have? Why, of course, you said so yourself. Once upon a dream. I never thought I would meet you. Outside of my dreams, that is. Who are you? What's your name? Hmm? Oh, my name? Why, it's... Oh, oh no, I can't. Goodbye. I must see you. I don't know. Maybe someday. When? Tomorrow? Oh, no. This evening. At the cottage in the Glen. That's not someday. I can't, but meet tonight? What? What was that? Aurora's memory. She must have gotten her heart back. So her dream came true? Yes, not long ago. Dreams are very strong beliefs. Aurora's led her to her true love. I see you hold strong beliefs too, don't you, dear? Yep. You also have a strong light. Hmm. All right. Hurry! We can't stay here! I must confess, the last time I saw Sleeping Beauty was before I could remember having seen Sleeping Beauty. So... Yeah, okay, so we're in the entrance again. Oh, but now there's another portal to take. And it just takes us here. But now there's a different... Another portal to take? Can we get a chest by going through red? Can we get an anything by going through anywhere? So if we go through here... Turn purple! So now, can we get anything? We can get a chest! Cool magnet. And we can get that. But there's still other chests that elude me. Maybe there's another color changing portal? So we need to go through this one while it's yellow to get anywhere. 
And then from there, we can take red, which takes us here. And then we take the green, which takes us here. But there's another green over there. How do I get to other green? And why does one of these greens have like a yellow glowy inside it? Alright, this time let's not get poked off the edge. Go ahead and cast that, because we could use it. Alright, no pigs are up here. So no one's... Oh, I see. He was hiding in here. Not gonna let you little jerks poke me off the edge this time. So now we can open that. Looks like that other chest will need to be able to jump high or glide to get to. So this takes us to the other entrance to this hall. So that should let us get to the other chests, yes? Yep, we get that one. And then can we reach a portal that will take us somewhere? Okay, we can reach this green, which takes us to the other green. All right. Okay. So from here, we can get to this chest and this chest. Hooray! Now we just need to trace our steps to get out. Hey guys. I would love being able to one shot these dudes with just any AoE spell. find our way outside where I'm sure unkind things will be waiting for us someone has released Aurora's heart tell me child was it you yep Maleficent only because you stole it in the first place. A keyblade? You must be Ventus. You've heard of me. How do you know about me and the keyblade? My powers ensure I'd know of the key to bringing me hearts. Terra gave me a demonstration. <laughs> Terra? He was here? Why, yes. In fact, it was he who stole Princess Aurora's heart. Jerk move. That's a lie! I was asked to leave you unharmed, but it seems I have no choice. I mean, couldn't you, like, just portal us out of here? That would leave us unharmed. So are the fairies going to help? Oh, they are. So yeah, this is definitely a prequel. Oh. Oh, we got a, like, rhythm game, huh? 
Um. Ow. She smacks hard. Way to just completely whiff your thunder. She's got some health. I'll give her that. Where'd she go? Oh, hi. Okay, so... I did it. Oh, that's some decent damage. And that's nothing, but she does get put to sleep by the joint force thing. Hey, we can actually cast spells while in midair in this game. Could use that health. It's nice how it just teleports me to the circle when I press square. Really makes this fight easier. Ow. Okay, your your thunder was more accurate than mine. You gonna stay up there? Ow. Let's just not get hit by any of this. That seems like a plan. You wanna come down here? Do your sleep thing? Ooh, it's going the other way. Still nice and easy to solve, or succeed rather. Yeah, Firestorm seems to give us some nice wide arcs. It's nice. We don't strike as fast, but it seems much better for AoE situations, so... I should probably keep something fire-related on my thing. There's no way Terra would hurt somebody like that. You don't believe me? That's unfortunate, for he agreed so easily. He did? Ben, don't be fooled! Huh? Aqua! Terra would never do that. You know that as well as I do. Yeah. Maybe he was oh. tricked. The truth can be most cruel, even amongst the closest of friends. After all, one never knows the secrets of another's heart. I'm sure you'll agree, Ventus. Aqua. The master sent me. Huh? Then, let's go home. But Terra... Terra's not ready to leave yet. Like right now, he's leaving you behind. And by the time you catch up, he'll be a different person. Sorry, Aqua. But I can't go with you. What? It's just... I have to find him before it's too late. Ben! <laughs> Tara, where are you? Fairy stars, huh? What have we here? Xehanort. Smiling at a thing Xehanort is saying. Oh, hey, it's... It's maybe Riku. I 
I see new worlds. Or new world. Where's that? Doesn't even tell me. Doesn't look familiar, though. So this is the world we came from, and we're just not allowed to go back to it, huh? All right. Well, that's going to be it for this episode. Join us next time when we go to wherever this is. See you then, friends.